ever start reading a book or a website and think, how am I ever going to remember all this information? The good news is that there's a great way to remember all of those facts. It's called taking notes. Taking notes is about grabbing important facts and phrases and putting them on paper. You don't need the small words and, such as, the, just the facts. I need to write a report on fossil fuels. I have all my sources, I've written down my research questions, and I'm ready to start taking notes. First, think of what you already know about your topic. Then, think of the research questions you have about your topic. This gives you a purpose for reading. Put these research questions in a chart. The first source is a web article, so I'll write the title, author, and URL on my chart. It's important to keep track of where you find your information. Once you make your chart, it's time to take notes. Your first purpose for reading is to find out more about your topic. First, read the passage all the way through. As you read the paragraph for the first time, try to identify the main idea. Also, look for facts and information that help you answer your research questions. As you read through your source, you may think of new questions about your topic that you hadn't thought of at first. This is a good thing. After finishing the passage, you can take a moment to revise your existing research questions or add new ones. Next, read the paragraph one sentence at a time. Watch how I take notes on my source. People have been using fossil fuels, such as coal, natural gas, and oil, for hundreds of years. I know people have been using fossil fuels, so I don't need the first part of the sentence. The phrase, such as, I don't need either. Coal, natural gas, and oil are examples of fossil fuels. That's important information, but I don't need the word and. I know that people have been using fuel for hundreds of years, so I don't need that information either. So, what am I left with? The words coal, natural gas, and oil. I'll add those to my chart. These are fuels that we find in the earth. I already know that coal, natural gas, and oil are all fuels, so I don't need to put that information in my chart. The words that we find, I don't need either. The fact that these fuels come from the earth is important. I'll add the phrase, from the earth, to my chart. I change the wording of the phrase so that I put it in my own words. This is called paraphrasing. You want to paraphrase information in your notes so that you don't plagiarize. Plagiarizing is copying an author's exact words. My source also tells me there are problems with fossil fuels. It says that fossil fuels are non-renewable resources that contribute to air pollution. These are facts I'll add to my chart. My source also tells me that fossil fuels are used for transportation and electricity. I'll add these facts as well. Sometimes your sources will have pieces of information that seem important but don't quite answer any of your research questions. That information could turn out to be useful later on, so you can add one more row to your chart for other interesting facts about your topic. After you've taken notes from your first source, you can move on to your second source and repeat the same process. It's important to use more than one source so that you can make sure your information is accurate. My next source is a book in print, so I'll write the title, author, and page number of my second source in my chart. I'll repeat my process for taking notes. My second source says that fossil fuels take millions of years to form in the Earth. It also says that one problem with fossil fuels is that they are expensive to transport from place to place. I'll paraphrase these facts and add them to my chart. As I finish reviewing this source, I'll add other important facts and information to my chart. Then, I'll do the same for any additional sources. When you finish taking notes from each source, you can organize all of them to help with the outline for your report. Here are some important things to remember as you take notes. Always know your purpose for reading. Always write your notes in your own words to avoid plagiarism. 
Include source information, author, title, website, or publisher, date, and page number. And always use more than one source. Now, it's your turn to try. Your notes will help you remember the key points from the texts that you have read.